Welcome to Beyond Incredible. I'm Ashley Nicole. You're watching XS TV broadcasting from downtown Windsor, Ontario on this hot and muggy day. Today we're going to have three segments. Our first segment, we're going to give you an update on the level of craziness, insanity, and delusional psychosis and unbelievable awkward madness invading this city. For our second segment, we'll be having a nice warm chat with Lupita Amaya, painter, photographer, and artist who has completed several expeditions. She's also an interior designer. And for our third segment, Windsor Talent Unleashed, we'll have a special guest. Tom Watson will be here playing guitar, some, uh, some of his own written music. Don't miss this segment because you can either witness the birth of a star or the death of a delusional psychosis. We'll be right back after these commercials. You're watching Exist TV broadcasting from downtown Windsor, from the Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator. Don't miss any of our other programmings on Mondays. We have Mike Thomas with the Convergence Report with Mike Thomas. And Tuesday we have Al Cachofas de la Azotea, a Spanish program with topics in Spanish. And Wednesdays we have Massal Care, 6.30 p.m., Arab program. Nadia and Tahir Hajan bring the best of the Arab culture to our multicultural community. You're watching Beyond Incredible with Ashley Nicole. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm Ashley Nicole. Obviously, politicians have nothing else to do but keep doing nothing but spending the money that is available to keep the status quo, quo, quo and fool everyone. But the truth is that they set up contracts with the help of lawyers to be written in a way that anyone who works for the government can't say anything against his or her employer. Yes, if you work for the country, the city, or anything related to the province funds locally, if you said anything negative about your employer, you could lawfully be terminated. A bylaw has been passed just this past week that you can't say anything regarding your job, safety, hygiene, corruption, or anything suspicious on your place of employment, whether it's in the country or the city, not even in your personal blog. What do you guys think about that? After consulting with our politics advisor, Mr. Mike Thomas, he said according to the written contract, law and politics structure, this is completely legal. There are enough clauses on the contract to get the city or country employers by the guillotine. Just a comment away to drop the axe. Well, if that's the case, and it's even in our personal blogs, then I'm pretty sure that a couple of these shows... Uh, would be terminated if we were ran by the city or a country or anything like that. We asked philosopher Bureau Uras about this situation and he said, it is natural for tyrants to get the slaves under the menace of death to keep the waters calmed. In today's economic environment, losing a job could bring the entire family to become dissolved in a matter of months. So people work for the government can have great benefits, but have a leash on their tongue. Big surprise there. No one who works for the country or city cannot comment on anything, on menace to lose their jobs, just as any other private company. According to our politics advisor, Mr. Mike Thomas, this practice is normal in private corporations. Technically, you should not bypass corporate structure and open your mouth, or you could lose your job. Is the government being managed by tyrants? Who protects the status quo at the expense of throw the infidels to the economic exile? Who passes the law that protects the politicians and country and city bosses? Is it not kind of ironic that there are politicians themselves? What a coincidence. Thankfully, at Access TV, an Oxfordome digital media company, we are independent we are an independent media company and we have no strings attached to government agencies for grants, nor tax incentive incentives, nor butt schmuckers. 
So we are not afraid to be fired. We can speak at will and we will speak the truth. And the truth is beyond incredible. We'll be right back after these commercials. You're watching Exist TV broadcasting from downtown Windsor. Thanks to our sponsors. Exist TV is an Oxstrom Digital Media company. We'll be right back. You are watching the Convergers. I mean, we are watching Beyond Incredible with Ashley Nicole, and we'll be right back with Ashley Nicole and Beyond Incredible. Where where does she, does she stand over here? We want to talk about. <laughs> oh, I'm on. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we will now have a warm chat with Lupita Amaya. Lupita, welcome to our show. Yes. How are hi. you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. Um, nice to be here. You are, are an artist and a photographer who has completed several expeditions. Would you like to tell us about that? Yes. I am uh, an interior designer and I have been working in, uh, in uh, freela like freelancing here in Windsor. And then um, the, the interior design took me to another path as well. I like to do, do photography, that's like a hobby. I am an amat amateur photographer. And also I like to paint, and then so I'm dedicated to art. And what got you into it? How old were you when you started? Um, oh, maybe 13 or 14 years old. Yeah, because I'm looking at the pictures and, and the paintings, and they're all, they're all beautiful. They're all gorgeous. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Now, what expeditions have you done? Well, I have been uh, uh, doing many uh, things here in Windsor. I uh, joined the symphony orchestra uh, uh, group. And then I, uh, I also uh, am working with the Art Gallery of Windsor, which uh, we do events and the, uh, that we organize for the fundraising of the both places. And um, I have been uh, doing different shows. Now I have one in Gibson Gallery. I have some uh, paintings in there. And uh, at the same time, I have a um, presentation of a fashion show. Ooh. And uh, there were many models. They were sent to the beauty salon. They make, make the makeup. And then I, we do a photo show shooting for them. Oh, that's awesome. That was at So Gallery, also in Mammoth, in uh, Okay. In Walkerville. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. And uh, it was really nice to to be working with them. From that, we do the ex the, the exhibition, and uh, this is what I brought okay. to show you. Um, let's take a look at these the paintings and and the pictures. What do you want we'll to start off with the pictures. Yes. These pictures were taken in real photos, and then um, they were um, done by uh, doing some photoshopping in that and. And they turn to be uh, that, okay, like a different look. 
So everybody loved them. Absolutely. Yes, they loved love them, them because it, they give just a, like a sketch. You yeah, know? yeah. Yes. And that was the, the purpose. They, uh, they wanted the sketchers. And I was going to sketch because I do sketching. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, I started doing the photographs. Yeah. And I, uh, I uh, enjoyed them very much. Mm -hmm. So I continue doing them. This one's my favorite. Yes, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful girl. Yes, also very beautiful. Very, very be yeah. Um, now, can you tell us about this one? Yes, yes. She uh, was posing. She's a very uh, um, young girl, mm -hmm. and um, she just posed for us, all the photographers, because we, they were like 15 photographers in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took all the pictures, and uh, she was fantastic. She's very calm and relaxed. She looks very calm and relaxed. Yes, just and yes, and she just the look on her face. that to the picture. That's that's perfect. Yes. This other girl also. It's the same uh, girl. This one. This that one. one. But oh wow! She had a different outfit. It's it's it almost looks a little Victorian. Yes, I like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. It's got a nice Victorian touch to it. Yes. And she was so sweet. She, you can tell. Though, yeah, you can tell just the look yes. on her face. Yes, you can tell. Beautiful, beautiful girl as well. Okay. So that helped me too to translate that to a picture. That absolutely, picture absolutely, nice. absolutely. Yeah. So I have uh, different positions and everything. Okay. And there. is this the same girl right here? That's another model. Okay. She yes. She was doing like a Japanese. Uh, uh, with kimono. So this she one's like, um, like almost like a double. Like it goes together. Yes. Yes. Oh. She had this wig. Okay. You know, put these together. So yes. They put uh, that wig in the salon. Uh huh. And uh, she did very nice posing as well. And then uh, the other was uh, very mystical as well. Yeah, that's perfect. Yes. Exactly yes. for Lovely. Japanese culture kinds of things too. Yeah. Then I play a little bit more with all the pictures, and um, this is the same girl that, that looks like Victoria. Oh, the first one? Yes, okay. but she was just uh, in another position, and then I play with all the backgrounds and everything at home. Uh, in my computer, I was doing all the Photoshopping, and they turned so on. Photoshop so nice. is amazing. It's so oh, much amazing. fun. I, love I it. could sit there for hours and oh, play on Photoshop. Yes, you don't feel the time. No, I no, exactly. It's yeah. great. Four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock. Okay, so I think we're going to go to a commercial and then we'll be right back and we'll show Lupita's paintings and a brief explanation on them. We'll be right back. Thank you. We're watching XSTV, Beyond Incredible, Good Arjun Nicole. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of this program, Beyond Incredible. A wild ride to the brink of madness. As always, presenting the topics others might be too afraid to expose to the public. But let me tell you, the truth is the giant incredible, as it is the title of this program. Fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride. <laughs> You are watching Exist TV, broadcasting from downtown Windsor, and this is Beyond Incredible with Arjun Nicole. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't miss any of our other programming. We have Monday, Mondays, 5.30, The Convergence Report with Mike Thomas, Tuesdays, Alcachofas en la Azotea, Wednesdays, Nadia Tajer Haitian with Mass Health Care, our Arabic program, On Thursday, very good, go, very good. Day. And Fridays, 6:30, we have Ash and Nicole and Beyond Incredible, a wild trip to the brink of madness. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm Ashley Nicole, and we are here with um, with our special guest, Lupita Amaya, and she's now going to uh, explain her paintings that we have over here to the left in our studio. 
We'll start off with this beautiful African man. Um, can you tell us more about that painting? Yes, this painting was uh, done like one uh, year and a half. And uh, it's just uh, a person that, it, when I saw the picture, it just called me and I said, I have to, write to, to paint it. So I started doing that. And it took me like maybe like three months to finish it. Oh, not, wow. uh, not daily, but... Um, it's got great yeah. detail. Yes, a big detail. Okay, and the next one is a flower. Yes, this is in um, in Owen Sound. Oh. We went uh, to that little place that is beautiful, and uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I saw this flower, and I uh, uh, decided to paint it. It's also acrylic. I like to play paint in watercolors and acrylics as well. And um, I they have to take the pictures, and then I bring them home, and I select them, and then I paint whatever I like. Beautiful. How long did it take you to paint that one? This one, I think maybe like um, I don't know, like four sessions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then next, it's the uh, the the Indian Tecumseh, right? Yes, Tecumseh. The Native American. I'm sorry, the Native American yes. Tecumseh. Yes, he is an impersonator that was in uh, Hammersburg, and I took the picture of that uh, person, and then I. Um, painted it for a contest that was going to go with the RRA Association. And um, so I won the first prize with this for the best portrait done in uh, for the 1812 That's great. exhibition. That's great. And then, and then on to the, the War of 1812 is another one. It's a general, am I correct? Yes. A general, yes. Yes, yes it's a general. And uh, I, uh, I, uh, I wanted to change a little bit the, the format with putting all dark in the background and make all the standing up. It, it does, it stands colors. out. The feather looks a little 3D from where I'm standing. I don't know how you guys can see it on, on the camera there, but um, it definitely looks like it's popping out when you're standing here and looking at it. It absolutely looks 3D. Yes. Like it's, it's, it's very well done and it looks really neat. Yes, thank you. Uh, and then on to my favorite one, the ballerina shoes. Yes, I love this one. Shoes. Yes, I painted and, and I was really into this one. Uh -huh. Yes, and I changed my um, acrylics and everything. I did all the gold colors and copper colors. And now I'm, that's what I'm using lately. Yeah. Uh, I think that gives a di very different dimension to everything. Absolutely. So I will do uh, um, several, several of this uh, ballet uh, session. Mm -hmm. So to to see how they turn with yeah. all the collection. Like yeah. That. Did you take pictures before you painted it then? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's beautiful. I, yeah, I have many, many pictures now that I don't know which one to Which to ones to from. do. Yeah, yeah, you have so many. Yeah, well, it'll you. pop out at you, right? Yes. Um, OK. Yes. And, and do you have a name for this one? Um, no, not really. No, no, I, no, I no name. name <laughs> Some yes, artists yes. name their pictures, so that's yes, why. Yes, I, I, I know. I, I should do, do that. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I always give a name when I have uh, an exhibition. So, but this one I have a name, but the that's beautiful. You, you can that's give beautiful. me ideas if you like. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't <laughs> even know. Um, a little girl's dream, maybe. Uh, yes, <laughs> that is a little girl's dream. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank little you for being on dream. our show. Yes, um, thank you very much for inviting me. Yes, um, we'll be back. Do you have a website that people can check your stuff out on, um, or do you have a Facebook page or anything? Yes, I have a, a website. Well, okay. it's not personally mine, but it's the association of the RRA. Okay. And uh, it's www.arawindsor.com. Uh, okay, perfect. And uh, my uh, email address is Casa Amaya. Okay, C A. <laughs> C A S A M G A at A O L dot com. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you very and much. And we'll be back uh, after a quick commercial with Tom Watson, who is going to play two special songs that he wrote himself. Yep. Thanks, Miles, Tom. We'll be right back. <laughs> thank you. Thank oh you very boy. Much. You're watching Exist TV broadcasting from downtown Windsor, and this is. Beyond Incredible with Arjun Nicole. We'll be right back after these messages.
you're watching Exist TV with Arjun Nicole broadcasting from downtown Windsor. Broadcasting from Windsor Downtown Business Accelerator. We'll be right back with Arjun Nicole and Beyond Incredible. Welcome back. I'm Ashley Nicole, and we're here with Tom Watson. Tom, tell us what you're going to do for us today. Uh, I've got a couple songs. Uh, one I wrote probably 10 to 12 years ago uh, for a friend of mine that was struggling, and um, and one I wrote this week. And I uh, hope I can get through it and do a good job on it. <laughs> no worries. Don't be, nervous. Time, so. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Okay. Um, Tom, take us take us away. Okay. <laughs> this one's. I'll tell you the name after, because I'm nervous. Don't know where to start, but I know deep in my heart that I can't rescue you. If you what I have to say, or your heart will go away. You will do the things you say you'll never do again, and then you'll go away. I've been there before, been there before. you live in I can't tell you what to do if your life is coming apart to where to stop but you must have it in your heart to make the choice you need to Cause hear what I have to say or you'll end up in a grave from which I cannot save you need to change your life today Been there before, been there before. I know how you feel, know how you feel. It's so very real, this lie you live in. This isn't the way it has to be. And if you decide to change your life, you can be free Been there before Been there before I know how you feel I know how you feel It's so very real This lie you live in Thank you <laughs> The name of that one was Overcome. I thought of it while I was playing it. <laughs> anyway, this one's called Blue. And I just wrote it, so let's see how it goes. see and feel her moves My favorite one is always blue My favorite one is always blue
when they're real She spends too much time in her head She feels she has too much to lose But God only knows the truth And God only knows the truth My favorite one is always blue When they're gray She brings a peace upon my day I love it when she feels this way I see her as my true Favorite one is still just blue. My favorite one is always blue. When they're green, she doesn't want me on her scene. She doesn't want to face the day It doesn't make me change my way My favorite one is always blue My favorite one is always blue Color out her eyes today. They're blue and red and green and gray. I love to see and feel her moons. My favorite one is always blue. My favorite one is always blue. Thank you. Um, I was kind of expecting to be a bike on. I was kind of thinking that I was going to see the death of a diluminal psychosis. It's on. Oh. It's on. I'm on. Am I on? <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'll say this again. I was hoping to see the death of a delusional psychosis, but I don't think I just witnessed that. Um, that was great, Tom. Thank you. Um, thanks for being on our show. Um, we'll be back next week. If you guys want to hear more from Tom, you can always find him on Facebook at Tom Watson. Is that okay? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. find him. Good luck. Check him out. Luck Try and me. find him. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. And, and Lupita Amaya, that was amazing. Thank you also for being on our show. All in all, it was a good show today. Uh, a couple of stumbles from me, but what else is new? Um, we'll see you again next week at 6.30. And check out the rest of the shows from Monday until Friday. So check it out. And thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a beautiful day. <laughs>